Yo, what's going on guys? It is Friday, October 2nd, and here I am bringing to you another uh, latest hardware tech. So today we're going to be testing the Samsung 980 Pro 1 terabyte. Now this is a, is a PCI Express uh, Gen 4 uh, SSD, and currently I'm running a 970 Pro, and I also have a 970 Evo Plus uh, 2 terabyte uh, SSD. So I'm going to be comparing those to this 980 Pro. Now I am on a, a Z490 uh, motherboard, which... Uh, doesn't support PCI Express Gen 4 yet because uh, Intel has not released the CPUs which will enable that. So I'll have to test it out later to compare this at uh, PCI uh, Gen 4 speeds. Anyways, we'll be comparing this to the 970 Pro and the uh, 970 Evo Plus. So I'm going to get this installed. I'm going to have to remove my uh, Asus stuff 3090 and then get this installed. And then uh, we'll run some tests. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the rest. Peace out. And just to show you guys a little, uh, I get this like a tech uh, porn. <laughs> so here is the 970 Pro. It's only a 512 megabyte uh, SSD. Here's the 970 Evo Plus 2 terabyte. And then here is the 980 Pro, which I just cloned uh, my 970 Pro to this. And it did it in like 1 minute and 30 seconds. It was unbelievably fast. So I'm going to be putting the 980 Pro in my first slot. And then I'm going to be running the 970 Evo 2 terabyte with the 980 Pro. And I did benchmark the 970 Pro, which I'm going to compare to the 980 Pro. So just thought I'd show you that tidbit. Thanks. Okay, guys. So I did a little quick little benchmark with a crystal mark. And I just did the one gigabyte test of five runs for each uh, test. So this is the 970 Pro, which was defragged and, you know, taken good care of. It's 100% health, good health. And uh, these are the results. So we got to read speed and write speed. That's pretty standard for the 970 Pro. This is a 512 megabyte, or I'm sorry, 512 gigabyte model. And then for the 970 Evo, which I just recently got, and that's also 100% good status. It's in the frag, and everything is in good order, and it actually performed a little bit better than the 970 Pro in some areas. So this is the Evo, and this is the Pro. Okay, so now the whole point of this video was the 980 Pro. This is the 980 Pro, just installed, and I did uh, run at the frag. You know, everything is in good working order. And honestly, there's not a huge difference uh, in speed. And I would say because of uh, the fact that it's not running on a Gen 4 uh, PCI Express E slot. So, so this is the 9, 980 Pro, and let's go back to the 980. And there's very small tangible difference and actually in some areas the 970 Pro actually did better like down at that area of the right speed so yeah so that's uh, pretty much it so save your money unless uh, you actually can take advantage of PCI Express uh, Gen 4 speeds but uh yeah so that's it and uh I just got it today I literally just got home and I went to run this test and just shared the results with you guys and so I did this very quickly, but uh, now I'm going to go eat dinner and uh, relax. But uh, that's about it. So that's all I could say. Not a huge difference. And um, the way I got this was I ordered it uh, online on Amazon as soon as it came, became available. Like I saw the reviews online and I know it really wasn't a huge uh, step up from the 970 Pro. And actually it has some lesser uh, reliability, I guess, because using a different kind of NAND flash, a uh, lower grade one like the 970 Evo runs. And so it's kind of disappointing, but I don't think I'll ever be able to use it as much to uh, have any problems with that area. So that's about it. Yeah, not a huge difference. And uh, uh, if you guys want me to run any other tests, let me know. And uh, until then, I'm going to enjoy my night and relax and uh, see you guys around. Thanks for watching. And yeah, so don't expect much if you're getting a 980 Pro on PCI uh, Gen 3. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys around. Peace out and enjoy your weekend.